Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Hello, little brother. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. It's really happening. They're here. You've got to hide. Got one. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood-red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior, and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. We must leave. It's not safe here. They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. Hmm. I thought you'd have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. My name is Maze, and I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. I have a new student for you. 
put him in the dorm upstairs with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now, but you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. <laughs> it's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happened to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. The guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind, but soon he had no thought other than training, and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Maze had foreseen. The real training was about to begin. Well done. Now let's see if you can combine attack and defense. Ah, hello, Thunder. Come to check on your sister's progress, have you? You could say that. Whisper told me you've got a training with some farm boy. Maze thinks the boy has great potential. Enough to keep up with my Whisper. Ha! <laughs> well, why don't we see? Whisper and the boy are just working on their melee skills now. All right, children. Let's see who has learnt the most in their training. This will be a no-holds-barred duel. Just like your final melee test. Prepare yourselves. Whisper, you need to practice more. Shame you couldn't see me fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Keep training if you want to go there yourself one day. The boy mastered the skills quickly, but there was always more to learn. For years the guild was his home, his school and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. The life he had lost, the family that had been torn from him. At last, only the final day of tests remained. Success would mark the end of his training. He would receive the Guild Seal and be free to forge his own destiny. He would become a hero. I remember the first night you came to us, and look at you now. Maze's faith in you was well placed. Now come along. The graduation ceremony will take place in the Chamber of Fate, the oldest part of the guild. Let the apprentices approach. For many years now you have worked hard to earn yourselves the title of hero. Today, that apprenticeship ends and you go out into the world to do great deeds. Deeds that will bring you the gratitude of thousands. Or strike fear into their hearts. These are dark times. The shadows of Albion are stirring and strange winds are 
growing. Your choices, whether they lead you down the path of good or evil, will change the face of the world. Now, take your guild seals and venture forth as heroes. I have given you a basic pack of supplies. It'll be enough for a while. Now there's a whole world for you to explore. Oh, now this one looks promising. Oh, hello. You must be the kid Maze is always talking about. Can't imagine what he sees in you. Still, I suppose Maze knows best. But where are my manners? I'm Briar Rose. No doubt you've heard of me. No time for autographs, I'm afraid. I have to get to Knothole Glade for an important mission. Speaking of which, if you came for a quest card, all the best ones have gone already. I'm sure the guild can find you something to do, though. I hear the kitchens need cleaning. Tell me, how much do you remember of the night I took you to the guild? Of the raid on Oakfell? Not much, I wager. A most terrible night. I thought those bandits had killed your whole family, and that you were going to be next. But it seems there may have been another survivor. Your sister. I'm afraid it's only a rumor, and there's no way to be certain yet, but I thought you should know. And for pity's sake, boy, make sure you replace that basic equipment while you're here. I'm afraid I've heard nothing more of your sister, and there's little else I can do. There is hope yet, though. A blind seeress lives among Twinblade's bandit clan. She may be able to tell you about your sister. The seeress stands next to the bandit king himself, and it's no coincidence the bandits have been doing so well lately. Have you heard of Twinblade? He was a hero once. Yes, giant of a man. He had little patience for the guild, though. He left, and brought together a dozen bandit factions. I always suspected he was behind the attack on your home. This could be your chance for revenge. The camp can't be far from here. The village is often under attack. I've left a quest card at the guild with the details. Here, you heard what happened to Stern? No. What did the idiot do this time? He only lost his bloody cap in a raid. Uh, was a week before he could get back into the camp. Yeah, you can't get in unless you're in full gear these days. If you ask me, old Twinblade's getting a bit jumpy. Don't know what's got into him. fed for days. You don't look like much of a meal, though. Draw your blade, killed puppet. Let's see what you're made of. Same for you. There you are. What's wrong? Don't you recognize your own sister?
her past once again before her, Teresa's memories returned in a blaze of fire. Oakvale was burning. She watched in silence as the bandits tortured her mother, then turned to her with questions of the missing boy. She answered them only with a stare, and so their leader sliced out her eyes. The raiders took the boy's mother and left Teresa alone in the forest. There she crawled for three days, blind and desolate, until she was found by bandits, Twinblade and his men. She began a new life of servitude among their clan. But the bandit king sensed her exceptional strength and power of will and listened as she whispered dark prophetic truths in her sleep. Those who could never accept this small blind girl standing by their master's side did not last long. When they attacked, she killed them without mercy and without emotion. for this was her place in the world now. I've seen so many things, so much killing, so much dying. I've seen you, little brother, in a ring of sand and blood, an arena full of secrets. And I've seen the choice you'll have to make one day, between the darkness and the light. Teresa! I'm sorry, Twinblade. Your path is alone now. All our paths are. But before I leave, brother, I have a present for you. For all the birthdays I've missed. A power that runs in our family. He finds you when you're sleeping, and when the daylight fades. What are you waiting for? Finish it, or leave me alone. I'm dead anyway. I'm no one's king anymore. So, you really found your sister? <laughs> I'd never have imagined her living among bandits. You've really come a long way these last few years, haven't you? People are starting to ask when they'll see you in the arena, out in Witchwood. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes! If you follow me, I'll take you to the arena preparation area. I tell you, the history of this place is wasted on the public. The arena's first heroes, our land's heritage. But do people care? Nah. People don't want history. They want the heroes of today. Still, I suppose every era needs its own heroes. Hmm, quite profound, that. You can quote me if you like. Welcome to the Witchwood Arena. A couple of basic points first. First of all, I must remind you to keep your aggression for the arena itself. Anyone caught trying to cut up his rivals in here will be in trouble. You have been warned. Secondly, the way out. You can come in after each round, not during a round. Ralph, it's getting really ugly out there. All right, you, chameleon, you've heard all this before. Go on for the first round and keep the crowd happy. No problem. This will be easy. Sorry about the lack of introduction. We have a full stadium and I want action. I'm Wrath. I look after everything behind the scenes here. If you need any advice about fighting in the arena, come and talk to me. Uh, Wrath, bad news. I think Chameleon's, uh, you know, dead. What? Already? The idiot. Right, people. It seems Chameleon only made it through three rounds before dying like a chicken in front of 5,000 people. We need a new volunteer. New man, you look ready. In you go. 
Ladies and gentlemen, for your entertainment, I give you Hood, famous for such quests as Orchard Farm and defeating ex-hero Twin Blade. Like our other brave challengers, this something coming hopeful has an eye on tonight's grand prize, hey! presented by Jack of Blades hey! himself. to the first round. An old arena favorite. It's the Wasp Horn. He may be new to the arena, but he's got through round one. Let's see how he does with the second round. It's an audience favorite. The cruel, the smelly, Hobbs! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the team rounds. Two heroes, side by side, fighting together for their very survival. And there's been a last minute change to the hero lineup. It's the sister of arena legend, Thunder. Let's hear it for Whisper. So, the two of them together, can they defeat the Balverines? That's it. These two did a great job last round, ladies and gentlemen. Give them a big hand. Anyone who's braved Litchfield Graveyard recently will know what I'm talking about. It's the Undead! The competition's hotting up. We've already lost three heroes. Well, it's time to make our surviving combatants even more nervous. It's round five, and here they are. Spared from the headsman's block, Let's have a big hand for the bandits of the Black Hand Gang! Our intrepid heroes have made light work of wasps, bandits, hogs, balverines, and even undead! What's next? What could possibly pose a threat to our noble combatants? Ladies and gentlemen, it's round six, the mighty Earth Trolls, Ingrid and Bertha! Things are getting very tough for our contestants. We can all see that they're feeling the strain. But what stands between our noble heroes and their winnings? Is that a pile of rubble? No, it's the Rock Trolls, Stannis and Groin! Ladies and gentlemen, today you have seen the best of Albion's arena fighters. Put your hands together for our successful heroes. But now, round eight, the final battle. I give you Arachnox. Winners, incredible! So, what will happen? Two winners and only one prize? Well, as you know, we have a special guest here today. It's the one, the only, the hero of heroes, Jack of Blades! I have returned. After an eternity away from you all, Jack of Blades is back. This arena is all that is great in Albion, and you all that is worthy in it. I am honored to stand before you again. 
And I have a proposal to mark the occasion. One final round. A fight to the death between the two heroes still standing. The winner will receive a special prize. The loser will have the privilege of dying before you. What do they think they're doing? They can't do this! I'm going to put on a good fight. But I'm not killing you. I can't kill you. We came here to put on a good show. And that's what we're going to do. Let's go. Stop fighting now! That was unbelievable! I haven't seen anything like it for a long time. I'll guide you back through the Hall of Heroes. You truly deserve to stand amongst them. I must say, you remind me of someone who fought here many years ago. Memory's not what it used to be, but I think her name was Scarlet Robe. That's right. Ever heard of her? Probably not. It was all before your time. But if you look on your right, you'll see her statue. She was the first female hero to become arena champion. <sighs> she was a fine hero. Just as soft-hearted as you. But her dedication came with a price. After her final battle, she was never the same. She lives now in complete solitude, crushed by her failure to save her family long ago. And yet here you are. I knew her son would end up here one day. It's in your blood. And in your sister's too. You should bring her to me. I so long to reunite you both with your mother. Just think of the happiness it would bring her. This was the true face of his mother, Scarlet Robe, Slayer of Balverines. Once one of the fiercest heroes in all of Albion, yet her most splendid battle was also to be her last. Ambushed by a dozen Balverines, Scarlet killed them all only to fall injured and drained beside their corpses. There she would have died but for Brom, a kind and simple woodsman who tended her back to health. In time they married and had two children, a girl and then a boy. Scarlet's days of death were forever behind her. Hey you, Teresa wants you to meet her at the Grey House. So, you finally met Jack of Blades. I met him long ago, of course, when he burned down our home and cut out my eyes. But he wasn't lying when he said he knew where Mother was. He's kept her in Bargate Prison, ever since the night of the raid. I can't stay here much longer. You have to get Mother out. She's the only one who knows how to reach the sword. The sword is everything, and it could turn the world to nothing. Oh, and Mother has a gift for you too. More power than you can imagine. How'd you get down here? Get him!
I told you. Touch me again, and I'll wring your neck. Wait. I know you. No, it's a trick. You're not my son. The bastard's playing with my head. But it... It really is you, isn't it? What the hell were you thinking coming here? Don't you see he'll take us both? Never mind. We've got to get out of here. Get this damn cage open. Jack! Come. It isn't polite to leave without saying goodbye. Bastard! This child of yours is quite the hero, dear Scarlet. Did you know he's been crowned Arena Champion? You would have been so proud of him. He must run in the family. That and getting locked up in one of my charming little cells. You disgusting freak. Let him go. He doesn't know anything. Oh, I think you'll find he knows a great deal. Meeting with that crazy sister of his. Teresa? Yes. It appears your darling little daughter is alive too. She's told him all about the sword. And that wretched bloodline of yours. And now, my sweet, you're going to tell me where the key is. Pokering all this time. <laughs> I could hear you squealing all the way down here, mate. Nothing to be ashamed of. They know their pain here. Wait a minute. I know who you are. You're that hood, aren't you? Beat the arena and let the big prize go to save pretty little Whisper, didn't you? Oh, we don't get your kind in here often. What'd you do? Kill a mare? Slice up some pigs? Bet the warden can't believe his damn luck. It's his birthday today, you know. The vicious bastard. Every year, he has us dragged out of our cells, shows us a little sunshine so we know what we're missing, and sticks us back in. Doesn't do it out of the kindness of his heart, either. They race us round the courtyard and take bets on who'll win. Then the winner gets a trip to the warden's office and... Well, what goes on in there is too cruel to mention. Right, you miserable sods. I want to see a dirty race. Plenty of pushing and shoving. You hear me? Now, get into possessions. Three, two, one. He's in the lead. Let's catch up. Get your finger out, puss bag! Bravo. We have a winner. Guards, escort him to my office. Welcome to my modest quarters. You have earned yourself a singular reward. One of my world-famous poetry readings. <laughs> yes, that's right. These stone walls cannot still the beating heart of a poet. Welcome to your temporary home. The torture chamber. We're gonna have some fun with you. <laughs> yeah, we're going to enjoy this. Get in there. I'll be with you in just a moment. There's a few less of you in here this year, as you may have noticed. I wonder what happened to them, eh?
The warden's got all these diaries, and everyone knows he keeps the cell keys locked up in one of them. If we just knew how to open them... The darkness of the cell consumed the hero's mind. And it consumed his life too. Another year would pass by in this prison. Another year of torture. The ancient noble blood in his veins, the power of the guild, none of it meant a thing inside these walls. And all this time, Jack of Blades was free to roam Albion. The hero would not be beaten, he would be free. quite the athlete, aren't you? I look forward to another meeting of the minds in my office. Guards! It's painfully obvious you have no interest in the arts. My lyrical opus is wasted on your philistine ears. Back to the cell with you. It seems the Warden has lost his key. We'll keep you in the holding cells until it turns up. Torture will be delayed. Revenge burned like a sun within the hero, and his destiny was clear. Jack had cast a shadow over the whole of his life. He had been the architect of his sister's blind suffering, and of his mother's imprisonment. And soon his power would be absolute. You didn't turn out too badly, after all. You did pretty well back there. But there's still so much to do. Jack is getting closer to the sword. I can feel it. He needs a key to unlock the sword from its hiding place. And now he knows where it is. The key is in Hook Coast, hidden in the ruins of an old abbey. You have to get to it first. We have one advantage. He doesn't know the key will only make itself known to one of our bloodlines. That's why we have to find your sister. As long as she's out there, Jack could use her. You should go to Darkwood and investigate the portal. There must be some way of activating it. It's the only way to get to Hook Coast. But first, I have a gift for you. There's power in your blood that hasn't been tapped yet. Feels good, doesn't it? Now go. I will try to find Teresa. I was worried when you disappeared. Your sister. I know. I had to tie her up. Jack is controlling her somehow. That's why I'm here. I'm trying to stop him. He's lying. He's the one working for Jack. No, she's trying to confuse you. She's... 
There is really no time for this, old wizard. Finish the ritual maze. I'd like my key now. It's almost over, and it will be easier with the boy here. So, you escaped my little cage. I'm surprised it took you so long. I trust you didn't lose too much of that precious blood of yours getting out. The scent of my key. You've hidden from me far too long. Take our two blood bags to the chamber. I shall be this. Surprised? You shouldn't be. Only an idiot would oppose Jack. You can't win, boy. The world belongs to Jack now. <laughs> I was wrong. Maybe you are strong enough to defeat Jack. <coughs> you haven't got much time. He's using the key to activate the focus sights all over Albion. Then the sword will be his, and it'll be too late. They'll be trying to stop him. None of them can. Oh. You want to know why I did it, don't you? I suppose I'm just an old coward boy. We don't all embrace death. Easily. For some of us, the quest... The only quest is to escape death. Whatever the cost. And it looks... Like I failed. Jack has to be stopped. He's activating those rocks. Always thought they were damn ugly things. I don't want to die for them either. I guess we'll just have to kill them first. Come on, follow the path and turn right. So Maze couldn't hold you. He wouldn't have seen the end of the day anyway. He had outlived his usefulness. You're too late here. This site is active. But don't worry. I haven't finished with you yet. Looks like he's done whatever he was doing. But the portal is still open. Follow him through. I'll stay here and teach these animals who Briar Rose is. You weren't going to make it. You'll never catch up with me. How do you like the new world? This is just a taste of what's to come, my boy. Just two more to go now. Only one left. You aren't making this much of a challenge. And now your flesh and blood is waiting for me. I hope there is still some blood left in those hard old veins. But look, here comes a fresh supply. Are you ready to see the guild burn, hero? Stop him! There's nothing we could do. He has power like none I've ever seen. And he has your mother and sister too. If either of them dies, Davo will help us all. Stop him, lad. For all our sakes, stop him.
What a touching family reunion. The mother, the son, the daughter, and the sword. There's only one thing. It's your blood next. Then I will make this world burn. It was such a beautiful night when I filled your home with death. Do you remember? Your father fought like the pathetic little insect he was. And now comes the choice I spoke of so long ago. Strike me down now with the Sword of Aeons, and you will become as powerful as Jack dreamt of being. Cast it into the Vortex, and its darkness will be gone forever. So what will you do, little brother? both where they belong now, lost forever. It's time I found where I belong. I know it isn't here. The hero had triumphed over Jack of Blades and forsaken the dark power of the sword. When he stepped outside into daylight, the crowds cheered his name. He walked among them as a legend. As the months passed, the guild and its people would recover. Walls would be rebuilt and order restored. For Teresa, it would not be so easy. She retreated to distant lands where a lifetime of wounds might be allowed to heal. A whole year passed. With Jack gone, Albion returned to something approaching peace. And for once, the greatest of all heroes was able to rest.
Hero, I I'm sorry to disturb you, but we're receiving a message from Scythe, one of our oldest heroes. He left the guild for the Northern Wastes long ago, but now... Perhaps it would be best if you came to the boasting platform outside the guild and saw for yourself. These creatures are known as summoners. My mission here has failed. I will attempt to stop their passage to the mainland. But I require assistance. The strongest among you must open the primal demon door close to this podium. It holds the fire heart. Only the chosen one will gain audience with the prophets. Use the heart to call the ship of the drowned. Hurry, before all is lost. The Demon Door awoke this morning, but none of us could get through. It says we're not worthy. It is up to you, hero. If you defeated Jack single-handedly, if it will not open for you... You bear the mask of Jack of Blades. The prophets had foreseen the coming of such a legend among heroes. The rise of the summoners in the northern wastes marks the arrival of a new threat to all things living. We have long dreaded this portent. Behind my walls lies the Fireheart. There, you will speak to the prophets who watch over it. You may enter now, but beware the beating of the heart. It has burned many before you. We are the prophets of the Fireheart. It was your destiny to seek us out, hero. The beast arises in the frozen north. Only he who claims the heart can stop him. You have the fire heart? Excellent. I knew you'd be able to do it. I bet those prophets were a barrel of laughs too. You always get to do the fun stuff. Well, I've been looking into these summoner creatures and I'm starting to think throwing away the Sword of Eons wasn't the best idea after all. These things are bad. Too late to do anything now though. Hmm, perhaps not. Well, it's only an old legend, but for centuries, there have been tales of a powerful weapon hidden in the guild and imbued with the essence of all the heroes buried there. But the only one who's shown any real interest in it lately is Maze. He was obsessed with finding it. We know why now, of course. Perhaps you can find whatever he discovered in his old quarters. But don't forget, it is vital that you place the Fireheart in the Hook Coast Lighthouse. Its power will summon the ship to take you to the northern wastes. Good luck once more, hero. We see that you are pure of heart and have sacrificed ultimate power for the good of our land. We judge you unworthy, hero. May Arvo's tear burn through the forces of evil in your hands. I've been expecting you. And as you can see, the town's been evacuated, just like the Guildmaster asked. Must be something serious, eh? Well, it wasn't easy getting everyone out on such short notice. But us guards know our duty. Well, I could tell you some stories I could. 
But uh, you probably don't want to hear him right now. I'll just leave it to you, sir. Good day. I take it the fire heart's in place then. Good. Meet me downstairs. The strange, silent ship set sail into the featureless swell. Day after day, it carved its path among the waves, an ocean phantom moving ever forward. Then the moment came when icy peaks speared out of the horizon mist. These were the shores of the Lost Bay. The northern wastes lay beyond them. Guildsman, I had feared you lost. I am Scythe, though my name has long been forgotten in the guild. Maze saw to that. My apologies for not meeting you in person. I must remain in Snowspire Village and protect it from summoners. Terrible though they are, they are but a symptom of a much greater power rising in these lands. Meet me in Snowspire in the far north. I will explain everything. And then we must consult the town's ancient oracle. I pray we can awaken it, and that it holds the answers we seek. There you are. So how was the cruise? Me? I'm more of a teleporter girl. Good thing your seal set the local ones off. I've managed to get a good look around and this pile of stones might be worth investigating. See all those inscriptions? I'm heading back to the guild to work on the translations. You should carry on to Snowspire and speak with Scythe. He's waiting for you. Catch you later! Welcome to Snowspire, hero. Walk with me. Speak of your journey. It is time we awoke the Oracle from its deathly slumber. O oh, great Oracle, grant us the knowledge we seek. What evil rises in this land? Prophecy is fulfilled. The guildsman is here. You follow the footsteps of the one who bore the mask you carry. Jack of Blades has awakened the dormant power of the summoners. He has used the blood of your family to feed his new chef beyond the Bronze Gate. But now his soul mask is in your hands. You must use it to feed the Archon's shrine and open the gate. Go now and face your destiny. So Jack has cheated death once more. Never have we encountered a being like him. I do not envy you. The Bronze Gate has long been a symbol of doom this land. Return to Briar Rose at the Shrine. Perhaps she can tell you how to use Jack's soul mask. I must return to the guild. May fate smile on you.
Hey, glad you're still with us. These inscriptions are fascinating, you know. Everything indicates that Jack's new form will emerge from behind the Bronze Gate, and this structure is the key to opening it. But it looks like it'll take the souls of three heroes to activate the mechanism. These things are never simple, are they? It doesn't want just any heroes either. The first instruction calls for the King of the Arena, no less. I suppose you could chop your own head off, but then there'd be no one for me to order around, would there? Why don't you pay Thunder a visit? He knows the arena inside and out. I've checked with the guild and they say he's a knothole glade. You've still got Jack's mask, haven't you? Good. You'll need it to trap the souls. I still can't believe he might not be dead. Anyway, I better start researching the second inscription. Yes, little hero, I'm back. And our business is not quite finished. You destroyed my sword, remember? Have you any idea how many centuries I spent looking for it? But its work is done. Soon I will have power beyond your imagining. And you will be the first to die. <laughs> Briar Rose said you would come. I will tell you what I know. If it will get you out of my sight. We were both once called Kings of the Arena. But there have been many heroes in the past who have claimed that name. You should search in the bloody dust of the arena itself. They say the souls of past champions haunt it, resting in the place of their greatest achievement. Sir, you found your first soul, did you? But the shrine is ever so greedy. It will want more before it's had its fill. I wonder who the next one will belong to. <laughs> hmm. I hope this thing works. You need to release the soul from the mask and, well, your guess is as good as mine. I've never seen anything like it. It's like it's using the soul to power itself. Anyway, we figured out the second inscription. It says, the heroine. I can't think of anyone who fits the description better than Scarlet Robe, your mother. There's always me, of course, but as you can see, I'm still alive. And I plan to stay that way. You'll have to pay her tomb in Oakvale another visit. I know this won't be easy, but Scarlet was always one to make sacrifices, remember? Jack's spirit is strong, and his new form is almost ready. But I sense how he fears you. Take my soul, and avenge our family once and for all. And make him pay, son. I'm sure your mother would be proud. Now, there's just one inscription left. The oldest soul. But we still haven't figured out who that might mean. Oh, come. We both know who it is, dear Briar. You can't protect the old fool any longer. It's the Guildmaster the Shrine once, hero. Jack! So it really is true. He's alive, and still up to his old mind games. I hope the Guild Acolytes can come up with a better idea. You should go back to the Guild and speak with them. We found it! The soul mentioned in the inscription. It must be Nostro. His soul has been trapped in the Litchfield graveyard for centuries. 
Our texts suggest it should be in the graveyard circle, you know, where you found the tunnel to Bargate Prison. Catching souls? Never heard such nonsense. Well, good luck, hero. One hero will be allowed to pass through the gate, and, hey, guess what? You're the strongest. I don't know what form Jack's going to take, but I don't think it's going to be small and furry, do you? Good luck, for all our sakes. The day has finally come. Many had prophesied that the opening of the Bronze Gate would mark the end of our world. You will prove them wrong. The mask you carry is empty, but Jack has used it for longer than you can comprehend. He is no hero. He is not even a man. When the world was a blur of fire and demons, when its soil had felt not the tread of humans, and was filled with creatures only your worst nightmares could begin to suggest, even then was Jack old. What you killed in the Chamber of Fate was just the latest vessel he had inhabited. Take good care of the Soul Mask now. Without it, you have no hope of stopping his new incarnation. It was a battle that would be talked about for centuries to come. The day the hero of Oakvale slew the dragon, Jack of Blades. 
the day the strange creature behind the mask was finally banished from this world. And this is where our tale must end. Though even the most hopeful of hearts knew the struggle between good and evil would never be truly over. As for what became of the guild and its heroes, that is a story for another time. Thank you.